what y'all doing look it's springtime and i'm gonna show y'all how to get this cute springtime look on a budget let's keep it rocking oh, all right so welcome back to this lovely temporary setup because i'm at home right now and i'm leaving in the morning so but we washed the hair well my boyfriend washed my hair and helped me out and i also i detangled this half of my hair and it's actually dried pretty fast because there's like no product in it but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the blow drying process just to make this a little bit easier to deal with you don't have to do this step if you're not comfortable with it i know a lot of people do not like blow drying their hair and that's perfectly fine you don't have to do it okay also don't mind me looking a mess because i just washed my hair my makeup came off y'all get the gist i'm actually gonna start by detangling this side sorry if i look over here I'm checking on my monitor y'all bear with me because i just got my nails done today and i have to get used to having long nails again i'm going to basically just comb out this side like i did this side starting from the ends and working my way up when i have the conditioner in i detangled it then as well so it makes it so much easier to do it while it's like fully wet because the comb or the brush or whatever you use the detangle will just slide right through plus with the conditioner it adds slip to the hair so it makes it a lot easier as well just a quick tip if you've ever like struggled with detangling your hair try doing it while the conditioner is in your hair once that's done i'm going to section off my hair it's not going to be like a crazy sleek blowout we're literally just blow drying it enough to where it makes it easier to part and easier to manage and to make sure that's not wet so i'm grabbing this back section i'm gonna grab some heat protectant as well this isn't my go-to but the one that i normally use i'll pop it up on the screen but i don't have that today i don't like this one because i'm pretty sure it's water-based which kind of doesn't make sense to me for people like me who have curly hair spraying heat protectant on your hair will just make it curl up so it does the opposite of what it's like supposed to the one that i like is oil based i'm just going to spray some onto the section and i'm going to comb it out some more to make sure that it's like distributed all throughout the section and i'm blow drying using the stretch method so i'm not going to be i don't have a comb on my blow dryer or anything i'm literally just going to grab my section just like this i'm going to take my blow dryer just go like this down this section you're going to pull this section tight so I'm gonna do this, but I will come back once this section is done. Just like that, we're done with this whole section, a whole fourth of my hair. Like I said, it's not to be smooth or anything crazy. It's not like we're straightening our hair or anything. We're just getting it to where it's a lot easier to manage, to part. So that's just how you want it. You don't want to get it like silk straight. That's not the goal, just enough where it's easier for you to manage. Okay, so now that that part is done, here's where the fun part begins. I know, I look crazy. And now it's time to part. Now, since I am doing the rubber band method for these passion twists, I need to go ahead and part out every single section beforehand. So, but the thing is, I'm terrible at parting. Ask anyone, I can't part my own hair. If you've ever seen me like wear a slick back bun or anything, it's never centered, but yeah i just can't do it if you can do it you're like immortal props to you but i personally can't so my mom is actually going to help me part out my hair i know she doesn't want to but she loves me so it's going to take a minute this is probably like the most annoying part for me at least because like i have to sit down and let somebody else do it and like i can't actually do anything hands-on so i'm really just chilling if you can go from the scalp and do that go ahead by all means do that but i am terrible at grips let's have these long nails on right now i'm not even gonna try the way that you do it you'll sit down section off your hair as big or as little as you want the passion twist so i'm not gonna do this cute but i would grab a section and then grab a rubber band 
go ahead and put it on there and it will just be like a little a teeny tiny little ponytail sticking out until we move on to the next step so you're gonna have like a whole bunch of those all over the head in preparation for the next step i'm gonna go ahead and get that done i kind of hate having my hair like this yes yeah, so let's go ahead go get our hair parted or get somebody to part your hair or go ahead get your two mirrors and part it yourself play your jam play your their music get into it because it's gonna be pretty a lengthy process i will catch y'all on the flip side really wow it all right guys so i am back and it may not look like much has changed but like an hour and a half later maybe a little over that my parts are all done here's what we're looking like can't really show you the whole head but tips from my mom go ahead and part it straight down the middle and then section off the whole half and then section the one half that you didn't section off into another half and then once you go to that other half it'll be way easier because you can just match the lines of the part and everything will just be way more easy basically so also make sure that you're using your scalp so now moving on to the next step we have the twisting slash braiding process i have my hair this is what i used the last time that i did it and it worked perfectly fine this is actually 22 inches and this is in the water wave and i have the color tt27 and also tp1b27 which are a little different but like they have the same colors just not as much if that makes sense so so i have three packs of this color four packs of this color i'm rambling let's go ahead and move on to the next step so all of your parts are pretty much done you don't really have to do too much sectioning because that's done and out of the way what we're gonna need for the next couple of steps some eco keep that on deck some got to be glued i know a lot of people like to stay away from this and if you're one of those people just don't use it um it's up to you but personally i just like using it i literally use this in my wash and goes so yeah but it's personal preference if you don't like it then just don't use it we're using some hair foam i don't know if i'm gonna use this but it's just always good to have this on hand um but i will put the two mousses that i recommend on the screen because this is just what my mom has on deck the last thing is going to be some edge <coughs> The last thing is gonna be some edge effect. This is the edge control that I use. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, oh, also you're gonna need some hair ties, edge brush, some latch hooks. And I don't know if I'm gonna go through with it or not. I just grabbed them, they're super inexpensive, but I just got some like braid charms and rings. We'll figure all that out in the end. So I'm actually gonna go off camera to get my technique down, packed and ready to go so that I can explain to you guys the best way possible how I do it. So I'm probably just gonna do my back row off camera and then I will come back and show you guys and tell you guys exactly what I'm doing so I'll catch y'all in a minute all right y'all so it's a cool minute later I'm not gonna lie because I was struggling to get them started finally did you see they're coming along throughout the bunch so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do to get them going so i'm just gonna grab a section as you can see it's already parted nice and handy my go-to has been a mixture of eco styler and my got to be glued ultra glue the black one now i'm just going to lightly dip my finger into both go ahead and coat this entire strand you want it to lay really nice and smooth so that it's very easy for you to incorporate into the hair so once that's done i'm gonna take my hair so normally it comes out of the pack like this like one nice cute and defined curl but this is not how you're going to want to put it into your hair you're going to want to separate the pieces as neatly as possible it's kind of difficult to do but you're going to want to separate the pieces like i have and then you're going to want to put them together asymmetrically and then once you find the new middle of the two pieces together it's going to be asymmetrical you can see this piece is higher than this piece and that's how you want it and once you've gotten that you're going to want to go ahead and grab your latch hook and here's what it looks like you're going to want to open the hook up so this is what it looks like open have it open and then you're going to go to the section that you're doing and you're going to stick this hook underneath the rubber band and now you're going to grab that 
hair that you separated you're going to grab it by the middle of the hair place it onto the hook you're going to close the hook and make sure it's closed and then once you've gotten that you're going to pull the hook back and it's going to slide underneath the rubber band grab the hair of that loop from the hook and then you're going to grab one half of that of those hair pieces pull them through that loop and once that's pulled through, you're gonna pull the one side, you're gonna pull them opposite directions. So it's kind of like a little knot tied underneath the rubber band. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab all this hair together. You're going to split your hair with the two sides of the braiding hair, like so, and then you're just gonna start twisting. And if your hair starts to feel a little bit dry, make sure that you're grabbing some more gel and incorporating that in because then it's not gonna wanna stick if it's too dry. So make sure that you're doing that, that it sticks and that it actually holds together. Otherwise your hair won't blend with it. Even if it's the same exact color, it's not gonna blend. So keep that in mind. You're gonna twist, 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 twist all the way to the end or as long as you want to go then you can cut it off depends on your preference but once you get to the end of where you want it to be you're going to grab just a little more gel on your finger and you're going to twist that section but you're just going to twist that so that it holds together so here's what that one came out looking like you see my hair is like blended into it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that one more time. You're gonna go ahead again. You're gonna to wanna to coat your hair in that mixture. Once that's done, set it aside. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually really hard to separate this hair because if you don't do it right, it's literally just going to tangle. So it makes it really difficult. Plus with my nails, like they don't go where you like are trying to tell your fingers to go. You're gonna take your hook, open it up. You're going to stick it underneath the rubber band and then grab the hair. You're gonna put the hair onto the hook. Make sure that the hook is closed. Pull it through, grab the loop, grab a half, pull it through the loop, pull opposite directions. Collect all the hair together then separate your hair into both sides and then start twisting remembering to apply more product to your hair when needed so here is that finished twist i know it's probably really hard for you guys to see what i'm doing but i'm hoping that you guys will be able to pick up and maybe i can put a better demonstration of it like maybe when i get to the front i'll show you guys again but i'm about to go off camera and finish up my hair i'm actually making great progress i'm using way less hair than i did last time the last time i was going through packs on packs on packs right now i'm i just have this last piece from the first pack I'm like almost halfway. I have like one row before I'm halfway. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and push up my hair and then I'll come back and update you guys once I am on the front so that I can show you guys how I do it maybe a little bit better. All right, y'all, so I'm back and it's actually the next day because it took so long for me to do my hair. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Doing your hair with nails is no joke. Please do not sign up for it if you're not ready because it makes it so much harder I promise you, like when I did this the first time, it only took me like three hours. Yeah, that is kind of long, but like I started twisting probably at like 12 last night and I went to sleep at five because I just couldn't do it. I was too tired. So I took a two hour nap and then I woke up at seven. Now it's 10 and I'm still going. So, but I just have these last two left. I'm gonna finish that up and show you guys a little closer view of what it looks like. Yeah, but basically I'm just gonna show you guys these last two and hopefully I can get a better example of what you're supposed to do than I did last night. So here's my one section and then I'm gonna take the hair, like I said, split it into two pieces and then I'm going to put them a little uneven like so you guys can see that okay so once that is done I'm going to kind of twist it so that it kind of groups there so it makes it easier to put it on the hook but you don't have to do that it just makes it a bit easier 
was you looking like that? Why is you still in here? We had our conversation. No. Uh -uh. Your fingers taste like nickel. I'm gone. You can't see me. I can see you in the camera. Oh. Keenan, get out. <laughs> That's disgusting. No, it. Ew. <laughs> but you're gonna take your hook to get underneath the rubber band. So if I pull this up, it's not gonna move because the rubber band is guarding it. If that helps you get a better visual. And once that's done, I'm gonna grab the hair. Then you're going to place the hair onto the hook and close it. So y'all see that the hair is on the hook. I'm gonna pull it back through underneath that rubber band and you see you'll have like a little okay a little loop here so now you're gonna grab that loop like this and you're gonna grab two pieces from that hair because there's a total of four pieces so you're gonna grab two pieces and pull that through the loop and once you've gotten that you're gonna grab the other half and pull those as tight as possible. So once you've gotten that through, you're gonna go ahead and grab your Eco Styler and that got to be glued gel mixed together onto my hair, not the braiding hair, but onto my natural hair and get it coated. Make sure that you get from the base of the rubber band all the way down to the ends. Now you're gonna take those two halves and split them and split your hair in half. Grab those two halves and start twisting. My tip though that I learned going along, it's really hard to explain. If you, Basically, if you go the wrong way, it's not gonna go turn out right. And it like sucks if you get all the way down to the bottom because it looks like it's working and then you have to undo it. Just go a little bit to where you can see if it's working or not. And now we're good and then continue going because that was definitely a setback. Like I had to undo a few, not even a few, a lot because I ended up going the wrong way and so I had to untwist it completely. So just make sure that you're checking up on that or it's gonna be a pain in the ass. And also make sure that you keep grabbing gel as you go. Even once you've like completely incorporated your hair, I will still grab just like a little bit of eco all the way down the line just to make sure that the braiding hair stays twisted as well. And when you're adding gel, it doesn't have to be a lot. Literally the tiniest little bit just to give it a little bit of grip so that it can stay secured. And then once you get to those ends, you're just gonna twist it like so just to make sure again that it stays secured. And there you have a nice little passion twist. We have one more, thank God, last one. I ended up opening a fourth pack of hair, but I really just did that so that I could have a little more color into it, even though there's not really a lot at all. But I also really wanted the black pieces to frame my face. But yeah, so we're gonna do this last one. Okay, so now that that's done, the whole head is complete. Thank God, I'm so tired of twisting and doing all this. So now we're gonna get ready to dip the hair and I'll show you what that is in just a second. All right, I'm back. So we're about to get ready to dip. So basically what you do is you boil some water. So I have some boiling water from the stove in this picture. It picture and basically all you're gonna do is dip your ends into it a few times let it sit because this is synthetic hair it's made of plastic so it'll like work as a seal to like kind of seal the hair and i also have a towel here so i have to be really careful for one because it's hot water and two because i have a lot of electronics surrounding me and that's a lot of money if I spill water on it. So try not to get it too close to your hair, um, your natural hair, because it'll make it frizz up. And then once it's dipped, you're gonna let it drip for a little bit. I'm gonna take the towel and just kind of scrunch it dry. Now I can see I need to cut my ends just like a little bit more. It's way more tamed now. Ow, I just pulled the crap out of my hair. But comparison, side by side, way more tamed on this side, so. Then those ends are sealed. So now I'm about to go back off camera really fast and cut these ends just a little bit more because they're just a little too long. And then we'll get into finishing touches. Okay, so I am back. 
finishing touches I went ahead and cut it how I wanted it to be and I did my baby hairs yeah so now the thing is just getting some of them to lay flat I like bigger ones towards the top of my head but that can lead to like it bulging so a way to fix that is to one just pick it up literally grab it stretch it a little bit and like pull it downwards and that'll help it lay flatter or you can take that hair foam like a little pump of that put that on the hair while like pushing it flat you see how quickly that solved the problem so now it's not like bulging up in the back which is great so finishing touches nothing too crazy but like they're in there that pretty much concludes this whole tutorial yes it took us for a whole trip it took a minute I'm not gonna lie and it was stressful because I was getting agitated and I have no sleep but it was definitely worth it it's gonna be a style that I have in for a minute and you know we love the vibes great way to end off spring break with like some spring break vibe hair you know what I mean yeah it's been a year since I've had any style like this and I missed it and my hair is like fully black which is kind of weird too but I think I like it should I go back to just being black black hair or should I dye it again y'all let me know down below in the comments but that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I hope you guys like this temporary setup because it's literally only going to be in like this video yeah but it's actually kind of cute I'm sad yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys. Mm -hmm.